Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a hollow circle stroke effect that you can apply to lines and shapes in Illustrator. Before we get started on this video tutorial, let's have a look and see what we're going to create in this tutorial. And what I'm going to show you how to create is this object here. What it is, is a string of small circles along a path. Now it's relatively easy to get this effect here, these dotted lines through a path, but I'm going to show you how you can create these hollow circles. And it's done using the appearance panel. It's quite easy when you know how, and we're going to create that effect now. So let's start with a new document. I'm just going to choose File, New, and I'm just going to create a new document. It doesn't really matter how big it is, but I've got a square document here. I'm just going to size it so that we can see it more clearly. Now because we want to create something that is hollow, it will help us if we have a background here so that we can see when we've made it hollow. So I'm going to make a rectangle the size of the artboard and fill it with a color. I have a script for doing that, so I'm just going to run this script because it just makes it a little bit easier for me to do. And here is my path. Now if you're interested in that, I have another video that shows you exactly how to do that. So let's just create that background so that it is now in place so that we can see when we've got something that's hollow. I'm also going to lock it because it just makes it a little bit easier to work with. Now let's go and use the pen tool and create a line. It doesn't really matter what sort of line it is, but since I was going to use these on chandeliers, I'm going to create a sort of chandelier drop sort of line. And this is my line here. Now I want it to be black with no fill. So I'm just going to click black here. There's no fill at all. And now we're going to go to the appearance panel because it's actually easier to work with this in the appearance panel. So I'm going to click here on the stroke and I'm going to increase it. Now typically I wouldn't use as big a size as this, but I want you to be able to see what's happening. So we're going to make it nice and big. So now this is the stroke that's applied to our line and we want to turn it into dots. Well, we do that by opening this stroke panel here. We're going for a round cap. We're going to click on dashed line. We're going to make the dash zero. It has to be zero, otherwise these won't be circles. And then I'm going to increase the gap to something a bit greater than the width. If it's the width or smaller, these dots will run together, which might be what you want. In fact, you can choose whatever value you like because this process is going to work regardless of how far these dots are away from each other and even if they're overlapping. So just make your choice of that setting. So now we've got dots along our path. I'm going to duplicate this stroke. So in the Appearance panel, which of course you can get to by choosing Window Appearance, I'm just going to make it a little bit wider here. I'm going to grab hold of the edge here and just drop it onto this new icon. And that duplicates this stroke. Now I'm going to the topmost one because I want to change the color so that we can see what's going on. And I'm just arbitrarily choosing a color. So what we've got here is our black dotted stroke with a pink dotted stroke right over the top and it's the exact same size. Well, let's start taking it down in size because the pink area is the area that we're going to drop out. So what I'm concerned about right now is how big is the black area because the black area is going to show me exactly what I'm going to end up with. The pink is going to be hollow. I'm going to say that for me this is good. All I have to do is to adjust this point size for the stroke. I don't have to adjust anything in the dash line. In fact, you don't want to adjust anything there because everything is going to work out perfectly if you just change the stroke weight down a little bit. Now we want to make it hollow and the way we make it hollow is to go into our stroke. So if this is not open, you want to open its little collection of things that affect it and you want to click on opacity. And you're going to set the opacity to zero. It has to be zero. And because you've just made this pink stroke fully opaque, it's disappeared. So that's exactly what you should say. Having done that, you then go down to this opacity setting. This is the opacity for the entire path. And when you do that, you're going to click on Knockout Group. 
and you want to check it so that it's got a check mark on it. And you can see what that does is it has made that pink area that we had set to 0% opacity, it's made it a knockout so that we can see the background through it. So this is fully transparent now. And you can do that any time you want to make something in a path transparent so that you can see things underneath it. You go to its stroke or its fill and you set the opacity to zero. And then you go to the path opacity, you click on it and set knockout group on. You make sure that that's got a check mark on it. And that says to Illustrator, look for anything in this object that has zero opacity and use it as a knockout for the entire shape. So that's how I got those chain of circles for my chandelier. Now once I've done that, and particularly if I'm working on a project like the chandelier, I'll grab hold of this and I'll drag and drop it into my graphic styles panel. Graphic styles you get to by choosing window and then graphic styles. Now the benefit of this is that as I'm drawing a chandelier or anything that I need dotted lines on, however long that happens to be, I can just draw my shape and then click on my graphic style and it gets applied to that line. And you can see that the style is as long mistake. And you can see that the style when I'm applying it applies equally as well to a really long shape as it does to a very short one. Illustrator just gives us as many circles as we need to fill that line with the specifications that we had for the stroke weight and also the gap and dash. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more tutorials here on my YouTube channel. And consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.